Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to upload a file using our Karate framework. File, image or XML file, PDF file, what kind of things. There are two ways we can able to do it. One is to defining the multi-part file field or else we can able to define for multi-part field. File and field. These are two ways we can able to do it. Why this upload things is required? See, there is a requirement you want to upload some images or files into your system using API. Then that moment we need to use for body and postman and post method and form data. In this here it will accept for key value pair. The key value pair is a key we need to provide and the value which is the file we need to provide here manually we can able to do it using our postman very quick and when we are going to use for automation side that is i am using for now is karate framework and there we can able to do it for uploading there are two ways which is multi-part file or multi-part field what exactly these two means if you are using multi-part file it requires for there are three sections one is a value means the location where it is the file it is presented the file name and content type what content type it is there means if you are declaring content type as image then it will accept for only image if you are declaring the pdf then it will accept for only pdf if you are defining for xml file then it will accept only for xml file okay this is the format for the multi-part file and if you are going to multi-part field then this is basically uh, read is the option to take for file name with the extension that is basically where the your future file is presented that particular location only you have to save your file image what kind of file it is there that file you have to store into that particular location same location which is a file file upload dot future file is presented that location only you have to store because the read it will take for that particular location only if you are declaring a different location then it will not read to the value and once you declare this and you can able to declare for any kind of file image xml pdf pd word documentation any documentation you can provide it will take and the content type should be a multi-part slash related if you declare like this it will accept for any kind of file to upload okay now we are going to see for first image now i am going to take for image now here and i just i am going to oh sorry yeah we modified okay correct now I'm just I'm running for only for image and that too I specified for content type as image and jpg format now it is pass and we'll see whether it will pass or fail now I'm going to take for pdf now I provide for pdf only but image location content type as image then we will run normally uh, it, it should fail because we declare content type as image now we are uploading for pdf it should fail if it is through providing for green means there is a lagging uh, means it is uh, not proper the value is pro uh, that's it is not supported that particular uh, future into this particular because it is a dummy dummy it will accept anything okay it will accept anything okay that's why we declare for pdf and image slash jpg but if you are going to a real time when you declare for pdf file to uploading but you define for content type as image then it will not support okay now here you got for 100 percent green and the test case is pass but if you are going for real time it will fail because i don't have the that proper validation uh, endpoint 
that's why I am just upload and see showcasing purpose I'm doing for this okay and if you want to do for XML or XML or PDF Word documentation image anything means this multi-part field image equal to read and you can define for name of that particular file and you can declare for this now i am uploading for xml file here if you are doing here it will take 100 percent 200 200 it will give you the status this is the valid uh, explanation only you can able to use because i tried into my company uh file upload thing because it is working there that's why after that i made it for this video to xml file uploading purpose for using this karate framework multipod field image and equal to read and you need to specify the file name and header content type and multipod and slash related these two steps are mandatory to providing for that particular location then it will upload and it can able to get for uh, success message and also some related information you will get it in this response it will not give you anything just there are a couple of things like status code message data extracting this one that's why i'm not validating for this response in your case what are the values it will define that particular values you can able to take it okay that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed and if you like this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you